I'm here at the flagship building of the New York Public Library System, where a new exhibition highlights the treasures of the library's extensive collection. Let's go inside. On the main floor of the Stephen A. Schwartzman building is a new exhibit with the goal, according to curator Declan Kiley, is to show the treasures uh, from the library's collections uh, on a permanent basis. The library's collection houses over 56 million items. For the public exhibition, Declan and his team chose items that have rarely been seen by the public. It really spans the whole spectrum. Um, the history, social sciences, liberal arts, we really cover that waterfront very extensively in both breadth and depth. And so what you see here are really just, in a sense, representative examples of works from those incredibly vast collections. To give you one example, we're showing Shakespeare's first folio. It turns out we have six of them. I, until we did this exhibition, I didn't know that we had so many. Another example is the Charles Dickens writing desk and chair. This is a desk that he wrote hard times uh, on. This is the desk that he wrote great expectations on, as well as his voluminous correspondence and so forth. And uh, this has been at the library since 1941. We've never exhibited it in an exhibition before now. Divided into nine sections under headings like childhood, the written word, and New York City, the exhibition has materials from the last decade, as well as cuneiforms from thousands of years ago. That's really the beginning of the written word. There are no earlier examples of people writing. It's the earliest writing system that we know, and it dates back to the fourth century BC. The most recent piece is the set model for the 2007 production of Lin-Manuel Miranda's In the Heights. An audio guide narrated by Anna Devere Smith includes commentary from artists and experts on 30 of the objects on display, including this piece. Through a vibrant mix of hip-hop, salsa, and merengue, Lin-Manuel Miranda's breakout musical, In the Heights, recounts three days in the lives of residents in the predominantly Latino neighborhood of Washington Heights. We had to find a way to evoke an entire neighborhood. So really 6,000 years of human creativity and production are represented in this exhibition. The idea is to, is to spark curiosity. In a hundred word label, we want people to see things that will make them ask questions and guide them towards a sort of research future. The Treasures exhibition is free and open to the public. For Arts in the City, I'm Craig Thompson.